Fanon, a French philosopher, once remarked that, and I quote, each generation out of a relative obscurity discover its own mission, fulfill it or betray it, unquote. In short, we are all sent here in this universe to devour large, large volume of gratification before it kills us. We are obsessed by the desire to accelerate every element of existence in a futile attempt to experience as much life as possible. As we do so, one element of our life is a daily struggle. As for me, water is a daily struggle. So, watch. I'm Gerson Sindan and welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you very much for joining me. So, if it's your first time here, uh, please go down in the subscription box, subscribe and let's grow the channel. But if you are a returning subscriber, so thank you very much for always doing so, for making this channel your number one channel. Today, we're looking at the struggle that I go through daily to get water, okay? Uh, it's very hard in this part of the country. As you know, Namibia is a dry country. And so as a result, it's very hard to get water. And you can easily get water if you have money because then you can drill a borehole. So the availability of underground water is great so the aquifer so water is available here but then you need about i think about 400 300 300 thousand namibia dollar you can get a decent borehole to 400 thousand namibia dollar so if you have 300 thousand namibia dollar then you can get a borehole uh, but that's very hard so that's what i'm going to show you today my daily struggle to get water so my daily struggle to help the communities around me so what i do is get to the nearest uh you know when i come here so I, sometimes i have to get water for myself and also to get water for the community members who do not have cars to get water from the nearest water point which is about you know 300 not a, not 300 yeah 3000 meters if you like about three kilometers away uh so that's what i'm going to show you today today is all about my struggle to get water in this area so it's very hard but i just wanted to show you behind every smile that i make there is a struggle let's go i don't like driving daytime so let's make dark let's make it dark let's go fetch water by driving in the dark so let's turn it dark Government of the Republic of Namibia, if you're listening, please, I need water. I need a borehole. We are a couple of homesteads in this area. We have more, I think, around six, seven homesteads. And all of us need to get water from some three kilometers away. Government, if you're listening, we need a borehole in our community. The struggle is real. The struggle is painful. You never know. Maybe what I say will land in the ear of some government official of the Republic of Namibia to listen to our plight. Ministry of Agriculture, please, we need water in this area. The struggle is real. Water is hard here. And if you are watching, if you are listening, and you work for the Ministry of Agriculture in Namibia, I hope you hear our plight. I will show you a couple of homesteads of people who do not have access to water. And we have to drive eight, I will have to drive three kilometers. In most cases, sometimes I have to do it to get water for, for the surrounding community as well. It's hard. I hope you hear me. 
I literally have to battle for water. You know, we have to compete with cattle. So you can see cattle. And now uh, here's the pipe that leads to the water. So you can see dirty water here. Literally, uh, you have to get into the dirty water and connect over there to the pipe and then put in the tank. And there we go. So that's the process uh, involved here. So this water is completely dirty. So it's dirty water. Uh, you need to get inside it for you to be able to connect and then pour water inside there. Now, there's also next uh, borehole, so that will, I, I think I'll take you there, so you will see. But this is what it takes. One borehole this side, and the other one I'll show you. So this is, uh, the water is too dirty, so sometimes I'm forced to go to another one. I think that's what I'm gonna show you soon. So, let's go. Something remarkable happened uh, as I get water from one point to the next point. Uh, so, a gentleman with his wife decided to offer me with some family of groundnuts. Uh, I don't know if you call them groundnuts. It, yeah, part of groundnuts, but more traditional. You hardly find them in shops. Uh, so, I got some groundnuts. Uh, they just stopped me and they were like, Do you look hungry? I said, Yes. And they just offered me some groundnuts. I look like groundnuts, family of groundnuts. Let me just show you what are those. So there they are, looks like groundnuts, there they are. This is how they look when you boil them. First you need to, you know, to kind of like rinse them and then boil them and then this is how they look. I live in the community where the struggle for water is real and now what I do every time I come to this area, it's in the rural setting, I have to go and fetch water. So that's, that's the life behind this smile that you see. Uh, behind this smile, uh, there's a struggle. There's a struggle for water, struggle to survive, struggle to get water. So uh, my nearest water point uh, where, the bowl, where the public borehole is, is about three kilometers in that direction. And that's what I, that's what I have to do almost on a weekly basis, get here, Go and fetch water. It's, it's very hard to get water here, so it's uh, as you know, Namibia is a dry country, and yeah, that's what I always do. I have to go get water, so let's go in that. Let me show you a typical borehole, how it looks like here. So it's about 400,000, sometimes 300,000, 300,000 Namibia dollar. That's about, that's about, I don't know maybe 25,000 US dollar to get a borehole of this nature. Let me show you. That's a typical borehole here. You got three tanks, 10,000 liter each. So that's how it looks like. The struggle for water is real. So I'm right here trying to get water. You can literally see what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> the struggle for water is real and the borehole is hell expensive. So a man gotta do what he gotta do to survive. a homestead here so you get a homestead from here on the other side over there you got a, another homestead so this is where we are and there are also a couple of homestead in that direction and behind uh, where you see gods behind that there are a couple of homestead in all the direction from here we go for water 
down there such a challenging place so let's go thank you for for enjoying the daily struggle of my life and that's what it takes for you to get water in this part of the world in this part of the country in this part of the political region in Kavango East region so I hope you have enjoyed you know the video and yeah, as usual please make this channel your number one channel let's keep growing thank you thank you very much for joining so big ups